welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I have something pretty damn awesome to show you. This is what I personally call the ultimate Neo Geo collectible. So a little fun story and a little thank you for the person who left a comment on my Mortal Kombat cabinet. Because this person pointed me out to playminimal.com saying, hey man, wicked. If you like these little collectible arcade machines, you need to check out this guy. He makes some very unique, awesome products. So I was so curious, I went to his Facebook page and I found his website. All right, so let's talk about the casing, where it's made from. This one is made by MDF, laminated with two colors. This, I think this is pretty damn awesome. Laminated makes this and gives it a very nice, unique look to it. At the side, we're having some decal stickers of the Neo Geo cabinet. So, all right, let's do a little bit of an overview. I'm going to show you what are you going to get if you're interested in the product, so you know what to expect. All right, let's go. Let's play some games and let's enjoy the show. All right, when you're getting this cabinet, it comes with this funny little box that says survival kit, just in case you need to play. Inside box we are finding some keys because we can open up the cabinets and it comes with a pretty good quality power supply. The only downside when I think of this power supply, the cable's a little bit short. Alright, so let's talk about the keys and I'm going to show you where you can open up this little hatch. This is what I call a little eye detail. So at the back of the system or the little collectible, we can find this hatch. What I really like about it is this little plate that says minimal candy cap with some basic information about the cabinet, the model and etc. That's what we call eye of, for detail, I do like it. At the bottom we're finding USB connection and power input for the DC and a little switch for powering on and off the system. Here we can find all the buttons we are going to need for controlling the LCD, like brightness and etc. etc. Alright, yeah, so let's open up this little compartment and let's take a close look inside. Okay, here we can find the orange pie. I know not everybody is a big fan of this thing, but to be honest, for if you want to play arcade games, it's just working fine. So what you can see, there is a wire connected to the GPIO port. And the reason why, if you're going all the way down, we see there is a little PCB board that is connected. And the reason why is pretty damn simple. So far I understand the coin operation system at the front is working. And when you're putting a coin in, that we're going to try, you're going to get a credit. To be honest, he did a very good job with the cables. He just used regular USB cables and he tied it up very nice. No cable nightmare this time. Here at the back we're finding the USB connections. It seems to be only one is connected. I'm guessing this is because of the orange pie and the USB that is available on this orange pie. Maybe when you're using a Raspberry Pi, you're having four USB ports and you connect both external. I think it's not a big deal, but I just want to point it out. All right, I really like this marquee on this device. It's light up, I'm going to show you now. And as you can see, it's powered with a little LED strip. So okay, let's do a little bit of view of the control panel. What I really like about it is that they have used the original Neo Geo style. I like it, so if you want to play this Neo Geo style on this mini cabinet, you can do it. Old school, miniature styles. But okay, the joystick itself, it's a little bit wiggly. It's, we're going to test out if it's responsive, but the wicked wiggle stick. We're having the start button, we're having one button for select this one so if you're pressing two buttons at the same time it goes back to the main menu but this one is the credit button so if you don't want to use the mechanism you can just use the button the buttons they're small tiny and cute and i must say they have a very nice touch to it this is something i need to mention this is a small detail so you're having this mvs little sticker over here that is behind the plexiglass in other words more like on the bezel itself very cool i like it I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but the little speakers are over here. I'm guessing like the old original design, but nevertheless they are pretty loud and this is going to be awesome. So I was thinking, okay, what is the best way to show the measurements of the little cabinet? I can talk about the measurements, but this is more to give you an idea. This is a one-on-one comparison with an arcade one-up. And I'm hoping you're seeing this on this view. 
it's a little bit higher than the control panel or K1 up. So in other words, this thing is pretty damn huge. All right, let's power on the system. And the first thing that we're going to get is the boot up sequence of the Orange Pi, of course. I'm very curious how is the color and the screen itself that it is using. Okay, this is going to take some time, so I'm cutting the video. Minimal retro caps, collectibles. All right, cut the video here and let's come back when it's booted up. All right, so when booting up the system, this is what we're going to get. Personally, I would love to see this unique new Geo skin that is out there that gives this finishing touch to this cabinet. All right, this is what you're going to get. You need to add your games and uh, you're ready to go. All right, are you ready? Ready to go. All right. Enter a coin! Enter a coin, people! Oh yeah! Let's see if it's super, it's super moves. Oh yeah! So, for a Wicked Wiggle Stick, it's pretty damn responsive. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Almost! Just go down. Oh, of course, I'm using the fucking power bomb. Power up. Alright people, so for the final conclusion regarding this Neo Geo collectible cabinet. So I want to point out this thing is not cheap. No, it's not. It's way expensive than for example this Pac-Man cabinet that I reviewed. But this is based on Orange Pie and you can do whatever you want with it. So it's just a nice collectible to put in your shelf and to enjoy looking at. Or you can just play some games on it. So that's thing is very cool about it. It's not big enough to put in a real main board, so keep that one in mind. So this insert coin or this coin mechanism, I think it's cool. It's a little add-on. I think this is what we call a finishing touch. So I think there's nothing to complain about this thing. I really love to know what you think of this. Would you even consider buying something? I will leave a link in the description where you can find it. I want to thank you for watching. 
and I'm happy with this cabinet. I am happy. I'm going to play some games and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.